This week we're joining forces with the team from New York Magazine. They're out with their latest issue of Design Hunting. It's the magazine that takes you inside some of the city's chicest homes. I'm here with Delia Kenza in her amazing townhouse in Clinton Hill, which she completely renovated, and we're gonna learn exactly all the things that you did, starting with the amazing art installation on the front doors. So who did this? Young man named Mush. I just had this idea that from inside the house, getting this little peek of something really fabulous in the vestibule. I always like to throw people off a little bit and you walk in and it's like, oh, didn't expect that. So I'm really excited to see what you've done with the rest of the house. Well, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. The thing about this home, Wendy, is that it's been in my family for before I was born and it looked very different than it looks now. This actually was the dining area. This was a kitchen, so it felt a lot more closed in. You really rethought the whole flow of movement through the house. Yeah, and it's based on how we live. I like to use my home as a place I can experiment and try things. Right. But you're an extremely intuitive designer. That's also what's so interesting. The space kind of tells you what it wants you to do. Yes. You know, you just have to kind of listen. Also, I love that it's so eclectic, the way that you've kind of edited the furniture, like you have this big light fixture. I didn't want to hang a lot of different pendant lights because I have this beautiful medallion, and it was really important that it got a piece that could hold its weight. A lot of these houses that I go into, they completely demolish the moldings and the, and the plaster work, and you kept it. And it adds this lovely layer of history, but because of the way it's painted and integrated, it just looks fresh. We did that by, I think, the color, and I love lighter walls and dark floors. I feel like it gives the space some weight. Yes. I think it adds to the warmth. You've mentioned the kitchen, but it's one of my favorite rooms in the house. Can we take a look? After you. I love this kitchen. Oh, thank you, Wendy. When you have a party, you have a million people gathered around this island, right? Mm -hmm. Helping cook. Helping cook. <laughs> but you also have this beautiful fireplace. You have your, your special corner where you work with your grandmother's table. Yes. It's so pared down. It's so modern in that sense. But it's got this wonderful vibe of family. I usually think about my daughters first. Mm -hmm. I visualize my children and my family enjoying this space. Also, you, you have a very edited use of materials. You have yes. the marble and you have this stone surface. Just having those two sort of materials kind of working off each other is fantastic. Delia, I know there are more surprises upstairs. Can we take a look? Of course. Oh, this is so great. Isn't it cool? Mush did this? Mush again, yes, and family portrait. This That's is you. me. Okay. Got the, the bun action going on. Okay. Yeah. And these are my little girls. From a design perspective, why did you put this right here? It needed interest. And then I was just looking at this white wall, and the hallway right. is too narrow for a bench. Right. right. And why just another picture? But I noticed that there's a very different vibe in your bedroom, which is very serene. Come on in. I love this room. Here's what I noticed first, the door handles. I'm glad you noticed because it's I one of that. my favorite things. <laughs> I couldn't find large enough knobs and I couldn't find anything I liked. I wanted it to be modern CB2, have these wood wall hooks. And I said, this is it. Can this be a door knob? And then I painted them all. Oh, it's brilliant. You've got Julia's art yes. on the wall, How which could is I fantastic. Not? One of the perks of having an artist as a husband. And what is this black? I want to say it's pitch black, mm -hmm. um, and I picked it because I said if I'm going black, I'm going black. Because you know what it does? It darkens the space, so when you're sleeping, yeah. it actually helps make like this kind of cocoon effect. Delia, I happen to know that Julio's amazing studio is upstairs. Would he let us go and look at it? I say yes. Let's go. Oh, this room is so fantastic. It, it's kind of a continuation of the rest of the house. Yes. The same dark floors, 
white walls. You're in the trees. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And it's surrounded by all, all of his artwork, his cultural past. The skylight is really how we infuse the light throughout the entire home. That's how we made it feel like you're in like a very special warm space. Delia, this room is the piece de la resistance to the whole house. It's such a beautiful way to end our tour. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. It was thank fun. You. And for more wonderful projects, look for Design Hunting on newsstands now. Thank you.